Damon, I think we need to bring the teleprompter here to Kentucky. Uh, <laughs> I think Rand Paul's going to pay for it if Barack Obama wants to come here. But my name is Ryan Quarles, and I'm running to be your next state representative from the fight in 62nd, which is all of Scott County and Northern Fayette County. I, I am here to ask you one question, and one question only. And please answer. Have you had enough? Yes. Have you had enough? Uh, yes. Government run health care, one sixth of our economy, nationalization of the student loan programs, government owned auto companies. Have you had enough? Yes. yes. Have you had enough of unresponsive government, waste, fraud, and abuse year after year after year, not just from Washington but from Frankfurt? Have you had enough? Yes. Have you had enough of career politicians who feel a sense of entitlement? that they don't, they don't even go out and campaign anymore, and they campaign on the name of their family, and they've been here for year after year after year. Have you had enough? Yes. Too much, that's right. Well, that's why I'm running. I am the, I am the alternative to the status quo here in Scott County in Northern Fayette, and I'm running against a good old boy who has done his best to run this state to the ground. He is an enabler. He is not one of the, you may not be the one cooking up all the ideas in Frankfurt, but he certainly votes for them. And he certainly votes with Greg Stumbo and Jody Richards before he is kicked out of his leadership position. It's time we send Charlie Hoffman back to spend a little more time with his family after November 2nd. You know, uh, it, it's hard times for Kentuckians, it's hard times for America, but if you're looking for a job, I'll tell you where to go. Washington, D.C. It's a boom town. Over a quarter million people have been, been added to the payrolls by President Barack Obama and his administration. And Dr. Paul and Andy Barr will tell you, if you get a job with the federal government, you're going to get rich. Average salary, $120,000, including benefits. Now tell me where you can find a job like that here in Kentucky straight out of school. It's not happening. It's more of the waste, fraud, and abuse from state government and, and national government. You know, I think government should, if they had a slogan, it would be this. If you think the problems we create are bad, just wait until you see our solutions. Now, now, I grew up, as Damon said, on a family farm just a few miles away from here, and we focused on the three F's, the farm, the family, and faith. Those are the values, and that's the upbringing I had. And nobody's perfect. I'm certainly not perfect, but I've learned from my family. They entrusted in me a work ethic that if you want to earn money, you go out and work for it. You don't wait for someone to come bail it out from you. That's how I paid for college. I ran some own land and grew my own crops to help pay for tuition. When it comes to faith, we must remember this country was a country founded by believers. And I'm a believer myself. And we need to remember that and honor that because that's what unites us here today. We're tired of administrators and politicians trampling upon the values and upon the concepts that made America great. It's time to take America back. Now, and if you don't mind, I'd like to talk to you not as a candidate, but as a citizen for a few moments. I am deeply concerned about where Kentucky is heading. As we mentioned before, Kentucky has debt. And not just national debt, but we have state debt that includes Kentucky as the highest debt to GDP ratio in the entire United States. Who would have thought we'd be behind California? But we are. We need to do something about it. And Phil Moffitt, he needs a partner, Damon needs a partner, and I'm ready to take on Charlie Hoffman in the state legislature. And let me tell you something that Charlie's not doing right now, and that's debating. I have contacted him on numerous occasions. I have called him. We have sent him letters, certified letters, no response. We try to get Georgetown College to set up a debate. He won't respond. We try to get the newspaper to set up a debate. No response and other organizations. He's a no-show. You all deserve to ask your elected officials questions, especially during a year like 2010. I'm here on stage. I don't see Charlie. I know Mayor Sainz can relate to this. You deserve better leaders here in Scott County. Speaking of my race, Charlie Hoffman claims to be a friend of Toyota. 
Toyota's had some rough times lately, and they have an excellent business model, and they're one of the most successful companies in the world. And we're glad to have them here in Scott County. But just a few weeks ago, Charlie Hoffman accepted a thousand dollar check from the UAW. Now how in the world could you be in with big labor and the union bosses and be a friend to Toyota? They need adequate representation and they're not getting it We're from Charlie Hoffman. I'll be that guy. In addition, House Democrats are good at blocking things. They blocked pro-life legislation, Senate Bill 38, at least two sessions in a row, killed by House Democrats. Transparency bills, killed by House Democrats. We can go on and on and on. It's time to get rid of the egos in Frankfurt and send a statesman there to talk about the issues. Some want to focus on the mud. I'm here to focus on the issues, and I look forward to your questions later today. And while I'm up here, we need to make sure that you know a rising tide lifts all boats. We're all here on a great slate of Republican and conservative candidates. I know Dr. Paul will be speaking later today. He's one guy who I think needs to spend a little more time with his family. We need to sit on the Washington so he can hang out with his dad and start solving some of these problems. And it's time we send a congressman from Central Kentucky who actually shows up to events and likes to talk to people. And we have that man is Andy Barr, right here. Now, as conservatives, uh, I know sometimes we don't get the best reputation for being environmentally friendly, but I know the Democrats here are because they keep running and recycling the same candidates year after year after year, and they're doing it right now at the mayoral race, running a, a, a mayor who lost nearly $2 million in a computer scandal. Do you really want to go back to that? No! no way. We have a current mayor, Mayor Sames, who has made tough decisions during tough times, and I think she's done a pretty good job. We need to send her back for four more years. Everett Varney is a no-show. He will not, he, he's like Ben Chandler and Charlie Hoffman. He will not debate. And that is an indication of their leadership style. It, it's time for better leadership. And in closing, the momentum is great these days. We have two and a half weeks. A lot can change in politics during that time. Barack Obama could go on vacation again in a week and a half. But we're out here working. So I encourage you, pick up a yard sign, volunteer, go door to door, make phone calls. There's an enthusiasm gap right now. A lot of Democrats and liberals won't even show up because they know they're going to get beat. But we've got to make sure that our base shows up. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. Talk to your church congregation. It's time we take Kentucky back. The time is now. The need is great. And during our most divisive hour in this nation, it was a Kentuckian, Abe Lincoln, who saved the Union. It can be saved again. And hopefully it will be an angel on our shoulders on November 2nd as we take America back. Thank you very much.